And we're going to start it off on sub base. Aaron Alley say um, for Carolina, um, you know, you just played this yesterday. You look good. You beat FaZe. Um, FaZe have won a couple. Uh, well, they're one tight one there against LAG. I was thinking the whole time, maybe they're going to bring this back. Maybe they're going to bring this back. But you close it out. You do a fantastic job. You were, you were gunning there if you were Carolina. You need more of that. I think they really they built that early lead that they didn't let slip away. What was it, like right? a nine, 90 or 100? Yeah, up to 90 points. And, you know, FaZe started to bring it back, but they shut the door on them. But here we go. LA Deeb's going to be starting on that stronger side for now for P1 going into P2. Is Afro with that rival going to get taken down some nice shots in for Fella. We're talking about Jonas Eve's uh, skill early on. He's uh, showing that and just trying to continue dance. Unfortunately, sliding right into one. Afro not able to snap back onto the second one. Still a healthy chunk of time you can earn here in the hard points. The Thieves starting to battle back through. That'll be Joe Deceives able to get into the hard point now. We'll see if his teammates can hold the outers around him. Yeah, you saw at the bottom side of the map, Cammy. He was kind of locking down near that tank P5 area so no one gets on through to push towards P2. He was a big one-on-one -on -one to give them some, uh, some hill time. But now with 16 <laughs> seconds left, Afro just working on up some nice kills. You're a little bit staggered here if you are Carolina. So with this first push to P2, they're going to be on the other side of the map. So it should be some early time here for these, but nobody's in the hill. But there we go. There he is, Ghost. He's like, I got this, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's going to want to soak up that time. He's had to get through the window first. Now Felony and Gwen finding openers. Ghosty traded out of the point instantly. And uh, that didn't happen. it's just real, real fast. The wheels come off. Hey, that's just one of those things, right? I, I mean, you get a couple of kills, there's five seconds left at P1. You have a great setup at P2. Maybe the comms are off, someone's not on the hill. Ghosty gives something up, and then it's 3-4 dead. Gwyn's starting to pop off, and these are those little mistakes hurting LADs at the moment. Yeah, Placer Gwen, I think, get all four. It's now five in a row for Gwen, as he is hitting right now. Gwen popping the triple. TJ there with the fourth, and once again, the squad is wiped. If you are Thebes, up 20 points, seven in a row for Gwen. Streak to work with and you are feeling good. Yeah, you're feeling great. Uh, unless you are the LADs, but he's going to line Bro. up two more. That is nine. He started 0-3, trying to find number 10. Yossi with a nice gunfight win, but P2 is done. Now over to P3. It's Carolina still in control. And we were wondering, will those guns stay hot from last night? And they absolutely have. And sometimes, dude, when you are, you know, we talk about the honeymoon period. It's obviously been a very real thing in Call of Duty. Uh, you make a little change. You find some success early on, but even if it's not that, even if it's just, I don't know, you just played to your potential a little bit yesterday, gives you some positive, I don't know, mental game going forward. Yeah, no, 100%. You know, I, I think, especially in the respawns, they're probably pretty pretty happy with the way they play. Hey, guys, we can play like that. Let's do it again. Yeah, we're the LADs. I mean, you, you know, you've been working and working for weeks and weeks, and then just right out of the gates, you have one of those mental mistakes that have put you down yep. now 70 points going 80 into p3 yeah, and this is feeling a bit like Sorry, yesterday P4. it's feeling a bit like yesterday if you're carolina like get an early lead now can you just maintain it throughout you know and you're thinking to yourselves we just did it against phase we can sure as hell do it against thieves and clay still playing great he's seven and five you can see always going to be electric on the comm side that guy pretty much is always talking when you go to his webcam and Gwen, who's wanted to step it up, looking right back on a four spree. 13 and four. My man pop it off. Right, that jumps the first attempt. And, you know, this is a hill where both teams yesterday, especially Carolina lineup, found a lot of success, but a nice two piece there from Ghosty. Trophies are down. A chance now for LADs to cut this lead if they can find the rest of this time. Already done a you know, pretty solid job so far. Did about 15 uh, to 20 seconds, still 20 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, no, he wanted to really get the rest of this. The way this was starting to come off the wheels early. Felony is going to chow right in. No, don't let him do it. He slides in. He's able to get both. Yeah, it's about 15 seconds, but if you were thieves, you really felt that's where the rally was going to come. Nicely, the lock pop on that south side of the minimap is Clayster and Win. Clayster and Win both kind of have them trapped topside finding the kills. Rotated across early will be TJ will be in next. He's got Clayster coming over to help. Him. And that's kind of the issue, right, with allowing Fellow to get that multi-kill. They know where you're spawning up. Now you're kind of trapped all the way on the right side of the map. They try to take the long route near that top side. And, I mean, it just doesn't work out. They get cut down. But Carolina locked in right now. Let's go to a listening. Okay, okay, you're you're ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take over time. Hand me in time. One shot behind you. Got Heady on you. Got Heady. Got Heady. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. 
Push you, push you, Ty. He's dead, he's dead. I'm Another low 10, low 10. I'm Joe, I'm missing one. Watch out, Ty! Watch out, Ty! Watch out, Ty! Watch out, Ty! I'm holding outer. I have outer. I have outer. I have outer. I'm gonna get control to L. Outer on me, Cammy, one shot dead. Nice, they're coming out of me. One shot, I traded. Let's fucking go, man. Let's see Joe. Let's see Joe. Let's see Joe, last two. One hit through river. He's on our barrels, and one's just two river. There's two on you, bro. I mean, we go to under a single, under a single. L one, two, two top on me, two top on me. One is L one, one is L one. I'm gonna go. L one, he's mid lane. One shot top control or two. Go see, go see, go see on hill, right hill. Yep, go see on time. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out. I'm going out. I'm going out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Outer, 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 I mean, great energy, good positivity. Clay, uh, I don't know, seem fired up and the guys are clicking. I, I mean, it's just a lot different, right? You have Clay on one side, Fellow on the other, but during all of that, Wind has continued. He is triple positive, 21 and seven. He said he wanted to step it up from his performance yesterday. We saw it early on. That has not slowed down throughout this game as they have near a hundred point lead. And again for Deeves, just a slaying, not on point, but it's really when the slaying is happening for Carolina, right? Just feels like rotation gunfights are going their way. Near the end of the hills, you get them spawning out everything that they want. And this is just uh, the CDL at times. Like, <laughs> it's just so competitive. Teams that look to be an embarrassment a week ago suddenly look at like a threat. Carolina is firing in those situations where they need the key kills with five or ten seconds left on a hard point They are getting them the comps are flowing the blood is flowing Carolina looking good There are but some solid time here from LAD is able to break through towards P2 But here comes the next push is Ghosty maybe the man is stepping up, but it is Clay once again, and you know, during that listening, we got another cruise missile, so you still have two, I think, to deal with if you are LADs. But it's Clay on one side, and then Joe deceives with a response to get them within 75 or so. And Clay's had a couple of those big multi kills again in this map, which we were talking about yesterday. Like, uh, so many times, just multi kill for multi kill in a big moment for this squad. We'll see if he can keep it going. Uh, Cammy has got to be flustered with that one. Like, it probably feels like he got enough hit markers or shot enough bullets to surely get a kill, but not able to walk away with one. One of those streaks is coming in now. Able to cut down one. Ghosty going to be ripped right out of it. The TJ's POV we go. My guy was dialing it back to 2016 yesterday. He was looking strong. Yeah, just kind of locked in right now, right? No pressure on them to really work the objective. All of his teammates were working the top side of the map. As soon as the cruise hits, they know Ghosty is spawning out. So waiting for the rest of them. But it's Gwyn again. There is a chance. I thought maybe LADs. Nice stun. With those couple of kills, I'm going to find the rest of that scrap time, but not going to happen. It is Gwyn who responds. And again, just one of those chances where you're looking at uh, maybe 30, 25 seconds your LADs to get back into the game instead. A multi-kill comes through well, yeah, and you makes can, it messy. You can see the multi-kill hob makes it look thin from Ghosty's POV. Because <laughs> you're, like, you're having to pick up like every angle, right? You have to deal with multiple because Gwyn takes out two of your teammates. How difficult it can be. Those multi-kills can be everything in some clutch situations. The wall bang will ring true for Fellow. Nay going to come in. Able to bounce though. I thought for a second maybe it was going to get TJ as well as he pushed in. But the trophy is going to get cleared. TJ and Gwyn will clear out everybody. Clay able to hit his shots mid-map. You're up over the 200 point mark. And you are rolling still. A lead almost back up to 100. Yeah, I mean, you have multiple trophies down, but it's that first pick from fellow near the back, and then it starts just the dominoes. Everyone gets taken down from LADs. Everyone having a moment. This time it is TJ with a five in a row. I think he finds a number six. The multi-kill pops up as they're up to 225. So another cruise. The Carolina Royal Ravens in control. Yeah, now they have been bodying Thieves from the get-go. Thieves just cannot find a foothold within this one, as it is all Ravens. Now just 10 points to go. Pistol, why not? Clay is hitting with that. TJ's got to hit the reload and can't get out of harm's way as it's a double for Ghosty. But second by second, you get closer to the victory. But you've got this hard point locked down right now if you are Thieves, but there's a lot of streaks to be used, Joe. Yeah, we'll see what it finds. You know, players are putting it up top in the building, so it yep. does connect, avoids the trophy. TJ gonna take him down. That 
takes out one player, and then they're gonna start the rest of the push. But a lot of Carolina is still pretty far away, trying to work through the middle of the map as Clay's putting in shots from P2. So LA Thieves, even with that cruise hitting, they have uh, you know, kind of settled this situation down for now, still in this game. Yeah, it's probably the best little sequence you've had. Just is it going to be too little too late since you only need six points for Carolina? You got four in a row for Cami, three in a row for Ghosty. Ghosty has been doing his thing throughout. He's up to a minute in the hard point. 26 and 20 with that. But as the next hard point gets ready to go, I mean, a lot of pressure on Afro, but the rotation coming across, they're going to fight to get it inside, but I don't think it's going to be enough. That's not going to quite get the victory. They're going to still be two points short, make it one. They do get the tick, and they are able to win it on the other front as well for the final second. So you win it on both fronts. If you're Carolina, suddenly you're looking like a damn good sub-base hard point team. Yeah, I'm thinking we might be beating with sub-base with yeah. Carolina, depending what team we are, but... I mean, just right from the get-go, I mean, that P1 and, it, you know, going right at the end of it into the P2 where you have that first setup for LADs and it just collapses, I was like, that kind of can't happen. And that mental error, that mistake, the comms, whatever happens, and that just snowballed into the rest of the game. And when you're a team that's been struggling, those mistakes are more painful. They, they are. Because you know things probably unravel in the comms a little bit or mentally a bit. Like, oh, here we go again. Well, it's just a question of, like, what the heck happened here? Like, how, how did we have everything we need? Like, I can hear J Cap coming in after the scrim. Like, hey, uh, guys, uh, guy, uh, what happened there? You want to talk me through that, Joe? Deceives? What did we do wrong there? Yeah, I don't know if it was Joe's fault. No, no. <laughs> They're pull, pull, picking on him, but uh, yeah, I, I'm not I just, that I sure. Just, I just picked somebody. I'm no. sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, you saw the scoreboard outside of Ghosty. I mean, you know, he put up some solid damage right around 4,500. Everybody else around 3K or lower. Where? Gwyn was popping off from the get-go. Fellow then goes on a spree. TJ near the end of the game goes on a spree. And as you said, Carolina, their sub-base hardpoint looking good. But yeah. what was it yesterday that, that hurt them? It was their search and destroy. I might disagree with one thing you said. You, you sort of said, like, well, depending on what team you are for the sub-base feed, I don't care who I am. I, it, they've won six maps now. They're two, two of their three hard points or whatever sub base. I'm getting sub base out. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not playing that uh, with the way they've been looking. But uh, yeah, search has just been not great. Like you know, uh, Clay historically solid search player. Fellow historically solid search player. Quinn historically, no idea. But TJ, you know, I mean, when TJ's in his bag, he's one of the better search players in the game. So like, you think he'd be able to find some success here? I know it's different roster, but like. I feel like they have the makings of being a solid search squad. Yeah, no, it's just they, they're a brand new roster. That's yeah. just, it's just a very difficult. So what do you try to do? When you're, when you're a new roster, maybe you have some solid pieces. Like what, do you, what do you try to do when you've been a new team in search and destroy? I, I mean, you, I think there's some default strategies that every single team has. Honestly, that's not really the openings and whatnot really aren't the difficult part. It's situations sort of you can't the, practice, right? The, yeah, it's a lot of situations where, you know, the two-on-twos of bomb plants, how do you want to retake, right? We saw the 4v4 retake situation versus phase yesterday. There's just all these little things that add up to make you into a great search team, and all that is is repetitions. Now, a map like Terminal s d could be a little bit different. I, I think this is probably the more, one of the more basic maps that we have where you're on plane, you're on top SCs, we're hit, you hit it fast, you're trying to work picks. Yeah. This could be a great map for them in that. Yeah, I'd sort of just be decisive of whatever you're doing. Like, black, yeah, of black out and make a play. Like, <laughs> that's, that's what Ryder's saying. Like, just just whatever you're feeling, do it. Uh, we're going to take a look at the S&D stats between these two squads. Um, not not great for either side, uh, but definitely not looking good on the Royal Raven side. You are one in seven for Los Angeles Thieves. Uh, yeah, two and four. You know, you've had some crazy ghosty plays like Billy out from time to time. He's had some insane clutches, but Obviously, uh, not not the best from either. Yeah, I mean, Afro has been the one, like, I think positive player for LA Thieves on the year. Uh, and one thing you kind of point out there, their conversion rate, right? 80%. Uh, I assume that's going to be the first blood conversion rate. So, you know, when they're getting the first bloods, they're winning 80% of the rounds. That's really, really good. And yeah. To me, that just tells the other end of, you can't be getting picked. Yep. Uh, maybe they're giving up too many first bloods, putting themselves in some tough situations. We'll go, get ready to hop into the terminal. Gwyn, uh, what a map he just had. Absolute beast. Guy wanted to step it up today. He's doing that. He's been he's been so, so impressive. You know, despite some of the question marks around the results for this team, I think people are really loving what they're seeing out of Gwen. We'll see if he can keep it going now into the search and destroy. But terminal to go, yeah, like you said, not not like 
talking about a ton of room for creativity or options here. Like, you got a couple of choices and pick one. Yeah, you got that smoke, smoke off across, make him guess, play around info. You know, a lot of these situations, especially on your defense, is do you give up A, do you give up B, play a, play a retake? Someone left their giraffe. Aw. It's going to take one out, throw you or Nameless in there, and this team, it, phew. It's a, the boomer elite, dude. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. You're literally the oldest person <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> On Afro now, as he's trying to get a presence towards the plane, but you've got what Felony and Gwen stacked up. As they'll be holding that side, they're starting to inch their way forward from Teski side. What were the other two players of Royal Ravens? Is I feel like TJ is just wanting to go. You see number three, he's just holding the cross here, looking for info. I believe he spots both getting across. Oh, he does. I mean, you have two players here, but it's Fellow down low, just watching this. There's winning a bit of a spot. Are they going to check it? Is the wall bank going to hit? He will check it. That's a heads up play from Joe Deceives. Now it's Fellow trying to get for the trade, but a nice pickup from Afro. Yeah, and you never have, you haven't moved yet if you're Clay and TJ, and by the time you try to, now all the heads have turned and focused on you. So suddenly it's going to be Clay by himself, and he is stomping around. You got two in front, but not much he can do. Yeah, some nice wall things early on, on the ghosty. That was Joe. They got that first pick, Joe Steves. Yeah. It was. Joey D. Yeah, and then Afro with the follow-up. But I mean, it's one of those rounds where maybe a fellow's inside the plane when it's a little bit different because you're 45 seconds off the clock. You saw both of those players cross. You, you pretty much know it's going to be a plane hit. But they're hoping to win in that little corner. Is able, able to make the play. At least find one. See if they can find more success now offensively. No, not looking that way. And uh, you talked about the first blood conversion rate for Thieves. You know, we get another first blood here on the back of Ghosty. Felony ripped out of this one. So far, the S&D woes continue for Carolina Royal Ravens, but Let's see what they now try to do. It's Clay and Cammy. Early gun by Clay wants to challenge. He is goes top and holds it and he'll just bring it back to the angle. 3v3. Yeah, I mean, maybe Cammy's just not ready for that, right? He's he thinking that him. player yeah. is going to back down, but Clay just doesn't. He holds it now. TJ going to make this a two on three. And just like that, it's all Afro by himself. Oh, great job from Ravens, man. You bring this back after the ghosty yeah, first That's the win spot, dude. There he is again. One versus one now. Afro versus Clayster. And Clay able to get there in time for the trade. Ravens will tie this up at 1-1. That's a great job at a 3v4, bringing it back. Um, yeah, I mean, starts with Clay's 1v1. If you're Cammy, you probably can't have a death there to give him an easy 3v3 or give him a free 3v3. No, absolutely. Yeah, and then uh, it just kind of opens up some lanes. But you saw right there, Afro's thinking, Clay, what, when's the last time he got a kill? Right around Bookstore, Burger. He's going to be working top three. Maybe trading from the inside, so he just tries to sprint on forward and reposition, but Clay already in that spot. Well, I think we've all been there, too, in, like, that Cammy and Clay situation. Like, you hit him, he hit him for, like, what, 120? Like, he ripped him. And then you just, like, forget it's caught sometimes. You're like, ah, he won't be peeking. <laughs> you just get first bolt, you're dead before you realize what happened. Like, he has dropped so quick. Yeah, you're like, there's no way this guy's still holding Yeah, this. yeah, he we've all yelled that, right? Like, no way! This idiot! <laughs> He's absolutely still holding that angle, but... Yeah. Now to this round, a three on three. Another first blood for LA Thieves, but a nade's gonna tie things up as they're gonna go for this Eskies bomb. And Gwen has Daddy ready to pop. If he wants to throw that into the mix. He's starting to inch his way forward. What time it is for Gwen. Surprise! Nobody watching this, Joe. Yeah, I, I was wondering what Josie was doing. He was kind of just ghost watching, and it looks like based on that. So maybe going on in the LA Thieves side. Because he was literally just like walking. Yeah, yeah. As he wasn't there. I was like staring at the player on the bomb, so I didn't realize. For my people, I thought he was just like. No, I, was like I was like, what is Ghosty doing? Yeah, okay, okay. It looks like he sense. was actually taking the escalator down and 
Yeah, it looks like Afro maybe not in the game no more. So we'll get this all figured out on that side. Okay, that makes more. That makes way more sense. Yeah, I'm, see, like, I'm, like, how, does. I'm like, how did he I just like, hit for free? I was like, there is nothing to look at down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I was just looking at the guy lying playing the bomb. Um, okay, so yeah, we've uh, got a bit of a connection issue. As soon as we are ready and back to it, uh, we'll get rolling into it. But that makes sense. Could, I, I just, I'm 38, bro. <laughs> I would be 14 year old, you know, fueled up gamers just dumping on me. I'm like, oh, that's fun. Yeah. All right, but here we go. One one in map number two. <laughs> so LA Thieves back on attack. We'll see what they do this time around. DJ getting pushed up here. Nice little spot. I don't think Cammy is going to expect this. It's just a question of when do you want to peak, TJ? Because you saw Clay putting some shots in. On the other side of the map, that is where the focus will be for LA Thieves. Afro looking for openings, looking for angles. As a reminder, we're 1-1 one, one in this search and destroy. Third time's the charm. I got a feel. Wow, Timmy actually checked that spot. Wow. Maybe just because you're 40 seconds into the round, so he, he checks it. Maybe Could be earlier on in that moment. Just worried about the flank. But there we go. First blood for Timmy and LADs. And then Afro with the second. Gwyn is still in the plane. But yeah, he's had to deal with both sides. Not going to work. Uh, this is very similar to... <laughs> Before it's literally we deja vu. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> that felt Clay real. Clay had to climb the ladder again. Yep, yep, yep. And Clay's like, oh, tough one. It's just me. Rotates over from Eskies, and he is in a difficult spot. We'll see it one more time here from Afro's POV. A little bit different, but all too familiar. For right before the break, it will be a 2-1 edge for Thieves now as both teams, you know, probably trying to warm back up, get locked back in. Battle here before we get ready for Boston. I mean, props to Kimmy for checking that spot. And, you know, obviously, yeah. it could be... You know, as time goes on, maybe a defensive player wants to work the flank. You know the focus is over towards A. That's just a corner that he checks, gives him the first blood. I thought TJ was going to get stuck there for a second going through security, but he gets through and then he hits the nade. TJ, great stuff there off of the opener as he was the first to get picked in our last round. He might have just gotten an angle on another one. He did. We saw the tail end of that as TJ gets another pick. Fellow follows it up. Cammy tail between his legs trying to back it up he's on a two streak he'd be clutching up at a one versus four now one versus three if you can do it yeah gonna be tough bomb jump went down has to check this player inside a book and what is the timing like it is not good for him they even allow him to find a kill though so far so you're gonna see the reads are on point but yeah there was one player inside a book fellow just prones as he jumps around that corner so you need a nice response from Carolina, you get just that. But yeah, starts with TJ. Yeah. Hits the nade. Finds the kill outer. It's a tough spot for Carolina early on. So now we go to two to two in the map two. Uh, just a reminder, if you joined us uh, just through some of the delays and issues we had, it was a map one win on sub base for Carolina Royal Ravens. They've been looking good on that map. They look strong here again. They kind of blew Thieves out of the water. We were kind of wondering if this little break was going to slow them down a bit because they were getting hot. Clay was getting pumped, and you know how scary a roaring Clay can be. But Cammy, who did a great job from this side of the map last time through and found kind of lurking TJ, as you call, we'll see what he can do this time. Well, he's going to have that info on the TJ. And Clay just watching Burger. Maybe if you're a Boston or New York fan wondering where, where's our game, LA Thieves, they, uh, yeah, their compound had some power issues, so we are uh, a little bit delayed today on broadcast into this map two of our, our first match still. So still plenty of Call of Duty left. Here we have some big ones today. Slide in, Afro with the Chow, able to take out Gwen, and that first blood is now up. Afro, can you do it again? Nice little shoulder, get the info, and then just sends it. I Nice trade, though. Yes, at least he had the second player there. At first, I was like, Afro's going to get caught with that one. TJ sends on forward. He gets shut down. Thieves, answer back, 3-2 edge. Yeah, I mean, their attacks, really. It's Afro on one side and Kimmy on the other. Kimmy wins another one versus one burger side. Uh, but it was Afro in the first round that we watched. We're just using that rival, able to find the pace, and then opens things up here. So nice little one-two punch out of that, that duo. Yeah, Cammy, I mean, he's been patient. Who's seen just the beginning <laughs> yeah. of the rounds well, over there. Like, <laughs> Probably after that one kill, Clay got however long ago that was. <laughs> he's like, I'm holding this angle forever. Yeah, all right. God, that does seem like that was like 45 minutes ago. <laughs> it was? In the round one. <laughs> a multiple in the book, right up the gut. It's going to be a 
fast B hit as TJ is going to get there real quick. What does he find? There's one top AC is going to take him out, so he will end up dropping. Cami, a good job on this site again finding kills. I mean, really, excellent. I mean, you can obviously see right oh. away. Okay, I was going to gas up Cami and LA Thieves, their decision to go for the retake. TJ, he over peaks, but then you get two players who the timing maybe a little bit off. They're trying to catch the player on the bomb, but Carolina, they never even go for the plant. They're just, they control top SCs and they just well, wait. Yeah, I think what was weird about it is because like, a lot of times you see like the fast hit there is kind of like a full team thing. Like, TJ was just kind of on his own. Yeah, he, and maybe, maybe it's a good spawn. Yeah, and kind of, kind of maybe tricks them into thinking like everybody's here and they sort of chow and they're a little bit deeper than they think maybe. Because TJ was, I mean, he was way ahead of the troops. Well, I think he's just trying to find a little bit more space because when teams, I, it's tough to plant that bomb site. You know, the 4v4 retake that stuns, the nades hit you, and you just lose that round. So just creating a space for his team. Yeah. No, like, he did that. That's for sure. But they still win it. He moves fast with those little legs. This will be 3 3 now in the SD. And mostly I'll keep saying that out loud to remind myself that we're following up on a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> That's so, a good reminder. <laughs> just so I don't forget. Clayster, first blood onto Ghosty, where we've seen Cammy, you know, doing a great job on that side. Ghosty will play from the B side. And Damn. now working at this plant out, Cammy's still able to find his kills early as Cammy gets two. They just kind of know where maybe that flank's gonna come in from. They get the info, it's through mid hall. And maybe with Joe Deceive's position, they, they check bookstore as soon as that happens. Cammy looking for the ace now. He's up to eight and two. It's all down to Fellow. Yeah, Cammy is taking over in this one, and he gets it. They got to be an ace there for a big Cammy. And yeah, a little bit of a different position for him with Ghosty kind of taking over that top Esky role. And Cammy ends up getting all the kills, starts in book, traverses the plane. There's some vintage cami for you, picking up the ace. And, and these are one of those rounds, right, where you're Carolina, you get a first blood, this sort of 4v3 retake. How do we want to retake this? Work the flank, work the pinch, making sure the timing is on point. This is where it's just, that's the nuance where it's going to be difficult as a brand new team to really all be on the same page. And Cammy, well, he makes some pay. Been wanting Cammy to show us some of those playmaking abilities, and he does it there. He'll just kind of get Trophy out, back it up, lurk in the corner. It's going to be Afro. He looks to pounce. He's able to take down one at least. He's still two players on that side. Rotating across will be Joe Deceives. Ghosty now looking for the angle, but that'll be bombed down. So not that big of a deal, but they should be able to recoup that. It's still going to be so tough to play around. I mean, you have a lot of, a lot of space here, right? Joe Deceives, while that was going on, Josie worked up joe got in a bookstore so now you have two players kind of watching these crosses but i, I think like these will kind of maybe allow them just sort of wait for them to cross the bomb play a retake if they have to go see in the hit top three maybe wait for cammy and joe to work the flank ghosty hit some lovely shots there put into a three versus one clay just it's like let me up finally able to man up now getting tagged from the right not able to take the fight in front of them and it's another round for thieves as they now find some separation again very similar where cammy's up top as he throws a trophy down this time though you got afro pushed up in the corner and again it's a bit of a gamble you're hoping for one maybe you get two but the worst case scenario someone checks that corner and he gets zero kills right then la thieves would be put into a hole but it's forced into a three on three as that happens ghosty gets into that corner watches the cross to the bomb and that's when they really solidify the round one more round needed for thieves and they'll tie this up at one one cammy still carrying that four streak into this let's see if they can close it out now offensively or if ravens start to claw back in it it looks like they want a fast a hit they are going and they're going quickly. Afro's done a good job here, winning his ones. This one a little bit deeper range. We've got some help. Ghosty is there. Up the slide quickly comes Gwen. Can Gwen get out with his life? I think he was able to. Gwen actually dips back wow. in, gets a second before he drops. So some great stuff there from Gwen. The fact he goes two for one. She's just a slide chalice, making sure the trades are on point. Ghosty was even a little bit weak going for that last challenge on to Gwen, but you had to have the trade, and he's able to connect the shots. Now into a two on two. Not opting for the plant quite yet, but Clay and TJ, how do they want to work this? It looks like they're going to offer TJ to try to work the pinch. They're going to spot Ghosty. Shoulders being thrown back and forth. Bomb not down yet. Now the plant getting down. 
Yeah, I just want to make sure, like, they have a little bit of info, probably. You don't get caught in a 2v1 while someone's planting. Now they can get it down clean and work to get into their the setup. Plate. They double drop out of the backside. That's going to work out, at least for now, to force a one on two. Now you can just peek it, but he's got a smoke. TJ has the smoke. And well, maybe they line up with the rival, but LA Thieves will tie the series up at one. Yeah, they're close to lining up and it's getting shotgun there. I love the play. Yeah, just smoke and hits it, but he gets seen. He's able to back down just in time so we can get the shots in. Ghosty clutching up, Thieves getting the win, and after a frustrating 45 minutes or so, whatever was going on at their facility, they were able to bounce back and tie us up at 1-1. But if you're Ravens, got to brush it off. You know, Search and Destroy has been where you have been struggling mightily. That was a frustrating one, I'm sure, to deal with just waiting for them to get back. You look good in the hard point, just look to bounce back in the response. Yeah, I mean, even just that last round, right, just the decisiveness from LA Thieves. Bomb planted in the 2-1-2. Two -two. How do we want to play this? They both drop out of the, the back plane, Ghosty, able to connect with Clay. And yeah, just uh, sometimes being the, the person to make that first decision a little bit quicker and you're able to catch your opponents off guard. Well, I think it was Anthony was talking to the desk about, you know, Steve's team, they want to get to some invasions. We'll get the invasion and control map three. Uh, we'll see what kind of test it will be against Carolina Ravens, who it's kind of crazy to think, uh, listen, Thieves haven't been great. But I think, uh, you know, a week ago or two days ago, Thieves probably get picked by the community, probably get picked by everyone on that desk. but. You saw such a good showing from Carolina last night against FaZe. You're thinking maybe they've got a shot to get this done. But we've got ourselves a battle now. We're tied up at 1-1. Fist bumps out. Uh, probably some happiness there for the Thieves camp as they get stuff set up and actually working again. Carolina, you had to sit, maybe ice in the hands a little bit, but now you're starting to warm up. Bring it back here in the map three control. We got a lot of Call of Duty to come. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. The Painted Alabrije bundle is available now in the Call of Duty store. Inspired by the folk art of Oaxaca, this stunning bundle offers colorful, vibrant, and mythical items you gotta check out. Don't miss out on all the action at the first Call of Duty League Major, hosted by the Boston Breach, this January 25th to the 28th at the MGM Music Hall at Fenway in Boston. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to callofdutyleague.com for more info. We are back. I'm getting bullied by Joe. I don't know what's going on. This guy keeps looking at me like something's wrong with my head. Is there something? <laughs> I think your headset isn't like... Is there something wrong with my head? No, I think it's good now. I think one side's like, like I don't know. <laughs> this guy Joe during the whole race kept looking at me and laughing. I'm like, what's going on? Let's take a look at some control stats here for TJ and Joe Deceives. Yeah, both these my head crooked, dude. Leading the way, I think just a little bit, maybe on the on the one side. But yeah, Joe Deceives, the only player positive for LED is a good thing. As we kind of talked about, we're going to Invasion Control. This is the control map they've played the most, two and two. Control has been their, their best game mode on the year. So we'll see the inbounds back. We're, uh, yeah, TJ, 1.14 overall for Carolina. All right, Although TJ. Yesterday on Kar Kar Karachi, right, versus yes. Phase. Yes, Invasion, uh, a lot different than that. Yeah, it is. Certainly is, but they were able to, uh, they were able to take it to Phase. Part of why they were gonna push it to the match, map five. What can they do here on Invasion? Maybe got some surprises for us, but now we're back in the swing of things. We're grooving again. Everyone's power is working. We're ready to get freaky. Hope you're enjoying the match today in the CDL. We still have two big ones to come, but we're slowly getting through this first one. <laughs> it happens. What else happens on this map sometimes? Cars blow up. His family's gonna find one, and that is gonna be three dead. And you're going to have two players on A immediately. Now, stuns, nades going to be very strong on this first push for the defensive players if they can get there. As Joe with the snap, the prone, and he is staying alive on a Gwyn and Clay. Yeah, sometimes you see flashes of, like, skill from this kid where you're like, all right. Yeah, no, he's, he's gross. <laughs> yeah, no, he can be so, so good. And it's still so young in his career. But that's going to be an A capture quickly. Great stuff there from Thieves. They look to punish Carolina quickly off the opening break. I will say, I'm very surprised Carolina opted for this map just due to, I don't know, again, a new team. A lot, a lot of these situations on Invasion, you, you kind of have to be on, on the same page similar to S&D, but maybe it's just sort of, maybe they'll make me eat my words, but maybe they want to start on the defensive side. We win three defensive rounds and nothing will really matter. I hope but. they do. I want to see you eat your words, dude. Okay. But I just think, you know, a high rise of Karachi with what we saw yesterday, probably a little bit easier maybe for a newer team to play. Yeah, true, true. You can make him a bit messier. Maybe not as punishing, but TJ and Gwen, you line it up there. Get some big kills, but now back to Joe Deceives, had the snapper earlier in the round. Nice nade, but not gonna quite be able to get the kill. It's four in a row for Gwen here in the early going. As they're still trying to hold it. We've seen this, like, even though, you know, obviously A can be the harder point to get, like, a couple times we've seen A get captured quickly and then you just lock down B. It's just, just a match up. control point, right? I, I mean, because it's not like B is a point where you can just walk up the street. It's, there's so many headies to clear, so many oh, yeah. power positions. But they finally get a couple of kills on the board as LAD. Some trophies are down to help with the utility. Now they can get on this point, so they're going to force Carolina to have to push up. Have been able to stop the clock here at 59 seconds. As Cammy's working to get picks, Ghosty will end up dropping. One player kind of working underneath to try and make a play. Came at your teammate. This will get a burst into him with a pistol. Little slide out and chow. Clay just kind of slowly peeks there. Pistol hits. Is enough damage in to get that trade? Joe Deceives can't quite pop up in time, but they he's just going to lay. Prone on the site. Joe Deceives cutting him down. They fly on forward. Contest not going to be there. Los Angeles Thieves able to strike first. Go up 1-0 in this control. Yeah, is, is it, you know, normally offensive round wins on invasion. It's usually that break off over towards A. If you're able to get onto that point right away, multiple players get it done with first. It's got a good chance you're going to win the round. As you said, not always, but yeah, it absolutely helps. No, we see some crazy holds, but... I mean, that'd be the ideal way to do it, that's for sure. As we get now into our round two. 
Let's see. For all, Ravens got something special here. Offensively, there's going to go right to B. Get on it. More standard push. Jemmy's still able to find a kill. I thought the nades, maybe the team shot would come through. Apra with some nice movement. The rival does hit. Clayster and Gwyn do respond. Just one player left. That is going to be Gwyn inside of Broken, just playing his life. You at least get one tick. But right now, you will take this to your LADs. Kind of just holding off that first push and just bleeding the clock. Okay, you've already got a minute off of this. Nice little snap there for Gwen. He's got one underneath. He's on another four streak. Make it five. Gwen's dancing. And he'll stop the clock in a minute. Just work towards this second tick. Nice shots again as he's on six in a row. Gwen is hitting right now. Got a streak to work with as well. I don't know what he's going to do with four bullets in this clip, but there's the reload. <laughs> Now you get this time done, time added on. But now the difficult part, right? You have LA Thieves just controlling this back blue area. Near P4. And meanwhile, Ghosty's all the way up River Street, just controlling around those Humvees. So they're kind of forced to, to deal with one of these sides. They're going to take down Ghosty. You'll start to see some of the LA Thieves player transition over towards A. But now Carolina with two kills, they're going to go. Jack Gwen just trying to find an open. He had Denny kind of sneaking in between enemy lines, but only TJ is going to get a kill. The rest of the team gets cut down. He's at least able to get here and stop the clock, though. Might not be for long, but you never know. It could be a matter of seconds to the tail end of some of these rounds. Yeah, problem for him, he doesn't have a trophy on, right? He's not no, the trophy yeah. player. Maybe if you have that trophy down, you can deal with those nades, finesse your life. Oh, we've seen one player with a heck of a play. Like, like get like three kills, you know, yeah, yeah. really, really extend something. He's got the rival. Yeah, without that, yeah, he just gets stunned up, naded up. Not a lot he can do. It's crazy how fast time will dwindle. You'd what, two minutes or so to work with? Already a minute off of that. You're trying to work up this B Street again. And Cammy is just ready, and Cammy is holding. He had a hell of a search and destroy. He had the ace in that round, but now you get some kills, and now you're starting to go. You got a chance to do it here, but look where Ghosty is in position. They'll be able to pick up that kill. That's Clay should be able to turn back on the street. Now you got two people onto the site. Now you got a real chance to do some damage on this objective. Yeah, no trophy is down though, so that comms has been given to Joe Deceives and his teammates. See, the stuns are connecting, the nades are hitting. Josie's gonna put one in there, and that will allow Kami to hit the pinch. And before that, I didn't see if Clay spawned like near Humvees, or if he somehow got around Josie. Either way, it was a weird situation where Josie was caught off guard, Clay being behind him, but yeah, I think still able to deal with it. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure if he, like, spawned for up the A Street or... Well, I saw him snap back and get yeah, the kill. we've seen it a couple of times where you spawn Humvees, but it's very, very rare. I mean, that's the position you get to defensively, where it's at, I, there's some weird spawns at times, it seems like, yeah. He's got a hold for 10 or more, so, more seconds. Two people coming off a of spawn for Royal Ravens. You've got a mile to go. TJ will drop, and he was kind of the point man, so... No respawns remaining. That should be the round as Thieves will go up to up. Yeah, you're able to get a good couple of pushes over towards A zone, but uh, out of both of those, no trophies. Uh, with, no, with no trophies, immediately, as soon as they hit the objective, and, and I know their coach, uh, JCap, he is huge on using stuns, using nades, giving yourself an advantage in that, and the bumpers, they're going to hit it. Oh, yeah. No, the, the people that got in there like had no chance to do anything. No. Just stuns, naded. Out of the objective. So you lose that map one. Now you're a round away from going up 2 1. Uh, it was a quick A hit, a successful one for Thieves in their first offense. This time, we're going to send it over towards B, do a little bit more standard of a setup. Ghost is going to be kind of playing on an island to keep people honest today. But as they lose the first player, he's quickly probably going to start thinking about working that way. Yeah, I mean, Carolina's like, uh, let's just not give up A this time through. Just play very patiently. Had two players near that area. Yossi with a nice gunfight win on the Gwyn. Has to hit the last headshot. Almost gets the second one. He was one HP. That's why it's taken down so quickly. Is Afro now getting pushed up with that rival? Trying to catch players off spawn. Does just that, but not ready for Clay behind the car. Yeah, he almost gets tipped back in. That stun is like literally in your pocket as that rolls on to show to Steve's. <laughs> now he's getting pushed. Trying to play ringing around the rows. He eventually dropped. Afro now back into the mix, just waiting on his teammates here to work with him. Ghosty's going to win a one-on-one -on -one with the pistol on the other side of it. So he's going to split the defense here a bit. Ghosty was almost able to get into A. I thought on the minimap he was going to be able to get across, but he couldn't quite get through. And 
and then at that point you're just hoping Ghosty can stay alive. Maybe a, a play can be made as they transition over, but B about to be complete for LA Thieves. Win does take down Ghosty. Nice shots out of TJ on, on to Camby, but now starts that sort of slow push for LAT, so they had to start staying alive middle of the map to start these pushes. Yeah, I think Ghosty just been going A Street, taking taking a fight, A Street, taking a fight kind of over and over again. Trying to alleviate maybe some of the pressure from the rest of the squad, but yeah, now you gotta work this. Yeah, at least keeping it open, right? Just if you don't have a player near those Humvees, then at least put some pressure on that tree. So maybe that's just what Ghosty's thinking. I, I'm not seeing anyone by this side. He's the one playing that on defense. But you do have, what, two players here. Really three with TJ all the way in the back, but now he's inside a cafe. I wonder if any of that connects. It seemingly did. Is there thinking about his position, but he's able to just get across for now if you're a ghost. He's, he's still running. Run into he's still going. <laughs> Backing up towards the point, there'll be multiple players there from Royal Ravens. Trying to develop this push for Thieves. Is in behind Amy Lines. He'll be at number seven. That'll be Cammy. Maybe a chance to be a playmaker, but that chance is closed as Clayser picks him up off spawn. And now Gozi starting to work his way on up, just kind of creeping, able to get past this gap from Carolina. And again, can he get on to the points? Maybe just try to work some magic. And he is on the objective, so the clock will pause for now. No trophy is down. He's going to catch TJ. While that's going on, here come his teammates starting to push that B Street. Get some big kills. Will that be enough? You lose Ghosty, though, on the site. So you still have numbers here if you're Royal Ravens. The close spawn obviously going to come in pretty impactfully. Uh, now the lives, though. You got 30 seconds left to go. Seven lives for LA. Ten for Carolina. Cammy trying to finesse as long as he can, but they're just kind of getting staggered a little bit as they're starting to push towards this. Clay and TJ, the duo, once again finding kills. Nice little snap there again from Joe Deceives. He's had some wondrous kills. He's only 14 and 17. But some of the individual moments have been bright. Not quite able to slide across. Carolina should get the clutch kills they need there to at least send this into a fourth round. Nobody get close now for Thieves. Yeah, I like the patience out of Joe, right? Because even with 20 seconds left, he finds the kill. And maybe you're just thinking, I got to hit on the point. But he's able to regain his health. Maybe just buy a little bit of extra time for his teammates to catch up with him. But then he's going to have to cross. Some nice shots onto those LA Thieves players, as you said. Yossi with a couple of pl plays onto the objective, but just not enough. Well, Thieves now a chance, though, to wrap this up on defense. Or do you let it slip away and Carolina make that run into a round five and maybe make something wild happen? Statistically, Felony is struggling a bit right now. I mean, he's the newcomer to the team, probably trying to just learn his role in some spots. As he has not been here long. Right into it goes Clay. Not going to lead to much. He just shoots his pistol a bit, and Afro puts him down. Yeah, it did not look like a fun gun fight. Maybe lose some aimless to those doors right there. But by the way, opening from Afro, Cammy with another one. Up to 24, leading the lobby is Big Cam. But just controlling B Dom, and he's sitting down right now. Yeah, my feet were hurting a little bit, Joe. I was standing around for a long time during the delays. Getting comfortable, you know? Got to take care of my body. No doubt about it, Clint. Yeah, yeah. Got to gotta take care of it. But <laughs> well, that's going on. Carolina does get on A. Can Gwen maybe find a ticker? Is the pressure going to be there? LAT is every single time Carolina has gotten on to it. They've had the response. Well, now Carolina is starting to push up this B straight. And we'll see what Felony can do for his position. 11 and 18, but chance maybe to make some key plays if they're going to come back in this map three. Joe Deceives winning another one. Felony still looking for his food. And I think Afro gets behind him, and nobody picks up mid-cut while, while Fellow is kind of mid-tank. They're thinking nobody can get through courtyard. Nothing bad can happen. And, well, the timing just goes the way of Afro. He gets two freebies. You're now on five in a row from Cammy. He's up to 28. Gwyn, in a desperation, calls in the crews, but they have to go to at least get on one of these objectives. Afro still waiting around over towards B. Yeah, no, this has been a big defensive hold. Afro wins another, almost with a snapback, but Gwen able to get the kill. Eight seconds left to go, and you've got to get on it. Usually in these desperation times, Ooh. typically we'll see the minute extension more often than not. Not usually do you see the full shutdown come through, and that should be the case here. Behind Gwen's multi-kill, you should be able to extend a minute onto this, but 
really great stuff out of Thieves because you'll carry, what, like a four life advantage? Plus, you're only going to have a minute to work with after this. You've really got one good effort at this. Afro still trying to pick him apart, though. And I like that. want to make it easy. Yeah, it just staggers the push a little bit longer for Carolina. He doesn't over chow for a second, gets one, plays his life, and puts Clay and Fellow off a of spawn. And now you can see, yeah, already, like, haven't even got up that B Street yet. There's another 20 seconds off the clock. Got to deal with Afro first. They do just that. It's desperation time now for the Ravens. Ghosty with the movement, but not enough to take out that second player. Joe Deceive still lurking. And now Carolina, you've really got this one effort at this. And they're just not giving them real four-man push. I mean, they just keep picking them apart, keep staggering. It starts with Afro's pick on the point. And it's just been dominoes after that. <laughs> Joe Deceive's just, he's just slide canceling forward, popping with the pistol. 15 seconds now to go. But do you give up a little bit of part of the map? You have two players beat Dom. So off his spawn, you got one more chance here for the Ravens. But I think with that, yeah, it's going to be three dead Afro with the rival. We'll cut them down. LA Thieves went back-to-back -back maps to put them up 2-1. Here we go. Thieves, obviously, they're looking for a dub. Uh, it's been a slow start to the season. I still think this team's got some potential, but sort of like, I guess I'm wondering if it will happen kind of with Rockers. Sort of like um, things just start to click kind of. You get some solid wins. Um, Rock our team that was you know, struggling so much and they win three over the course of the weekend, which was oh, wait, well, the last two weekends. Last two. Yeah, last two, which was really, really impressive stuff. I keep kind of waiting for that moment maybe from Thieves where it seems like things start to click a little bit. Yeah, we'll see. They said a lot this series. Up, uh, so we're going to go to another yeah, hard yeah. point. But yeah, we'll see what this LA Thieves team, how they look. You know, maybe at the major things start to get going, but a very balanced effort on this map number three. And that's kind of what, uh, you know, Des was talking about, we were talking about with this invasion. This is kind of LA Thieves' home. Um, so just maybe think about the vetoes throughout this match. Yeah, I mean, with the map one, you kind of get what you want to go with. If you're Ravens, you get that sub base. You're able to win that, which we saw them win last night. Now to kind of the bread and butter for Thieves in this map three. And Cammy, you know, he's had himself a series. You know, he, he puts up some numbers here. He had the. Great search to destroy. I don't remember what he finished at, but he's going nine and two at one point after the ace. He ends up having himself a map. It's a little bit weird because that one kind of got split in half. <laughs> so what would you call the opposite of bread and butter? Like what would it be bread and what? Like what doesn't go well with bread? Everything that came to my mind was not okay to say. So, uh, <laughs> okay, well whatever, whatever you want to call it, that's kind of what map four is. It's a uh, map that LA Thieves play a lot in Karachi Hardpoint, but they are 0-4. <laughs> okay. It's like, yeah, we love this stuff, but one of those things like someone else likes and they're, mo uh, they're moldy bread, Joe. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but we'll see if they can find a, a map win here on this Hardpoint Karachi, because it's one they opt for time and time again, just have not found a victory. But, you know, losing is learning. Okay. Maybe it's just more losing for some than it is for others. So good. it's like lots of losing is lots of learning. And now they're going to come out and they're going to show you that they're actually the Karachi magicians. Yeah? yeah. Absolutely. J-Cap's back there with his little wizard hat on, dude. I don't know. I don't think I can see J-Cap being a wizard. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe frustration a little bit there is uh, Clay. Maybe just uh, he's obviously not got it going. Can't see. Right, can, we get, can we get webcams for TJ and Bell? I got to see these guys, dude. I do. I, I can't deal with TJ smirking that photo any longer. Well, what's wrong with it? It looks good. I just want to slap him. No, you don't. I, 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 I do. Out of love. Yeah, I love slap. Yeah, the voice made me a little frustrated. Carolina side just dealing well, with this uh, delay. Yes, I think so. Because it's just like it's one of those things where, what are you gonna do? I mean, there's only so much you can like complain about. The power went out. It's a very unfortunate sequence, but it is one of those things I do feel like just happens to Clay sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, Clay, I mean, yeah, he's been through all the situations. Yeah, he really has. He really has. But you know how it is, dude. You get, like, amped up for a match, you know. You're ready to go. Blood's flowing. You get a win. Like, you're just feeling good. Then it's just like, halt for 45 minutes. It, that can be tough. It can be. It's tough for us. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. Come on. Lock it in, Clay. I need you roaring like last night. You were like a lion. He was like great a, on Karachi. Like, like a brave lion. Roar. That's like what I do with my kid when I read him books. Yeah? Yeah. Lions go roar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Theo's adorable. 
Wen, who really wanted to like step it up. I feel like, I mean, statistically for the most part, some of the individual moments we've seen from him, he's been he's been great. Yeah, um, response he's been fantastic. He brought really this series, been. but just uh, again the control. I think just opting for that invasion, just some of the scenarios they were putting in were tough, and LA Thieves punish him. Taking a look one more time at our standings coming into this day, the last online qualifying day before we go to our first major of the year. Yeah, we fly out one Tuesday. We'll get there, ready to rip and roar. Uh, really excited for it. I mean, even even though it was so cold last time, we keep joking about it. Like, it was just a great event. Like, everyone was had so blast. welcome. The venue was awesome. A really great Getting to time. see Fenway, that was really cool. Yeah. Walking to Fenway. Oh, that's right. We walked right by it, right? No, it's literally connected to it, yeah. That's what it was. Okay, I was like, I, dude, I don't remember much. Like, I can't even picture, like, outside there because we so rarely were going out. We had yeah, wall burgers. You had a nice burger. That's true. That was good. Oh, I enjoyed burger that. Burger was good. Uh, Mark, Marky Mark's my guy. I think, I think he's literally the complete opposite of you. <laughs> <laughs> in every facet what? of oh, in every no. facet of life. Bro, Mark Wahlberg's the homie, dude. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Me and Mark go back. Into this map for Karachi. It's Carolina. Looking to get two hard point wins and push this to a map five, but it's Afro and Cami striking first. Maybe the whole damn team getting involved. Is they'll wipe him off the board, they'll get some time, they'll not dictate map control. And again, 0 and 4. For LADs on this map yes, so far. Yes, but lots of losing is lots of learning. As you told us. From J-Cap of Gryffindor. It's TJ going to find a, a bit of a gunfight here. Really, the only gunfight Carolina's been able to win so far. Placed her with one more, but... With this map control, early 30 seconds for LA Thieves, you already have number five and Josie rotated over to P2. It's a great hold here. A great setup for LA Thieves. Yeah, Thieves have a chance to put a nice little stamp on these first couple of hard points and get a significant lead out early. Soaking up time, it'll be Afro, Cami, and Ghost finding kills on outskirts. Ghost, Ghosty. <laughs> He's a ghost. Tell you what, if it was an icing strategy, it works, because right now, LA Thieves, they are firing on all cylinders where trying to get going if you are Carolina. Cami popping off up to eight and two. Just since the search and destroy, he's been killing it. Yeah, and like this is, I guess, what we want to see is Cami is sort of at times taken over. Like the feed is just Cami, because we know he has the ability to do it. Um, it's just been rare uh, over these last couple of years. But man, when he is on point, he is disgusting. Quadruple positive early. No, uh, yeah, three points on the board if you are Ravens. Yeah, it's, it's like they were going to kick a field goal and they called three timeouts. <laughs> yeah, ahead of him. Just like ice him over and over again. Yeah, but nice kill there by Clay. Able to find two. I mean, you had a lot of pressure on P3 to LA Thieves, but before it pops, they're all going to get taken down. I feel like they just need a big, like, need a play big. from Clay and then he just, like, comes alive and starts. To I need a like, full, like, 50 to 60 here to get you back in the game. Okay. All right. We'll see if they're able to do that. One of those hard points, you know, the. Spawns have definitely been influenced, been playing a bit better, and Carolina doing through. a good job so far. Got there through. is one behind enemy lines, though. Is Joe Deceives going to be able to play spoiler? And I like that from Joe. Finds the first kill and then just waits. Waits for his teammates to get pushed up. Does it overextend to get picked? But then on the push, Clay's going to be on a five spree, so you disrupt some it. time. Yeah, a couple seconds. Honestly, you dealt with that pretty well. Uh, there was a maybe like three seconds of contest. It really was not bad. You'll get the rest of it. This will get you what? Uh, so yeah, you get about 50, 50 seconds from that hard point, which is what you really needed to get going in this. And you claw yourself right back into the game. Now we start to focus on the next hard point. It's Afro winning gunfights inside. We take a look at the beautiful fountain of youth. It's the fountain of youth, Joe. Well, we found it. We did find the fountain. Get Maven a Karachi P4. Get him dude, on there. Dude! Get him on there, but honestly, oh, LA My hair is throwing back. I can feel it tingling. They go all four dead, and Carolina now in back-to-back -back kills. On P3, it's a good hold. On P4, it's a great break. Needed to warm up and maybe come alive. Hard to do maybe in the search. Get good to one of the better ones for Thieves there in map three, but now you start to answer. A little bit of dip and diving and dancing there out of Afro. Next gunfight, though, is Clayster, and Clay will take down two. Over to Joe, deceives POV, we go. He's not going to get far as he gets cut down the street cross. 
And this has been a rally. Clay Sturry, I'm saying, I think there's a big moment to get Clay Roran is what they need. He's on five in a row. He's 12 and six. Yeah, back to back five sprees out of Clay over on rotation. Now at seven in a row, he's able to get a couple of more. So he's going to have the crew. Can be the only player over here for Thieves. We saw the spawns coming in for both teams, kind of low bridge side. The only player who was able to get through was Tammy, but then he's all by his lonesome. So it's the first couple of hills all for LA Thieves. Now Carolina looking to get three in a row as they take the lead. Big lean chase here now for Carolina. If Joe deceives again. We will go onto the binging machine. He goes as uh, it's Cami getting all the kills though for him in front. He will finally end up dropping. Afro with two, Cami with two. They'll take him out. Back in front, go LA Thieves. As Ghosty looks for his next point of attack, he had 20 seconds remaining on the hard point. It's crisp headshots once again for Cami. It looks like they, maybe they know someone got through the top side. That was Gwyn, right? We were on board with Ghosty. He got pushed on through towards Junk and maybe just had maybe that timing. But LA Thieves now with a 20 point lead trying to close this series out. Let's go to a listening with Thieves. There was a frustrating moment there for Thieves. You kind of heard Ghost say, let's take our routes, take our routes. Joe, break it down from that point. Yeah, I mean, they just go through the middle of the map. They're able to find two kills inside of red. And then just knowing the comms, they know the last two players alive, right? Calling out names. They know their spots, able to break on through. But it's a quick response once again from the Ravens. Is they're not going to have a 30-point lead. So you get the break if you were LADs you were looking for early on in the hill. But immediately, Ravens just fight right back. So great job by them. And Clay has gotten going. I think right during the list, he hit another five spree before P2 pop. So this man going off 23 and 12. Yeah, he has uh, been playing so, so well these last couple of days. Love to see it. Out of Clay, but to Quinn we go here for a second, but it's Felony and Clay taking everybody down, still locking down the point. Nobody getting close. Four Thieves is Raven so close to pushing this to a map five between these two squads. TJ now up top. Hello. Nice kill there from Teach. Able to go. It looks like these are gonna go for this one last time. He had some pressure bottom market side. But the trade's going away of Ravens, and now you can see what eight in a row. For the squad is they're going to get pushed out towards p4 now up 70. what a response after the first couple of hills from LADs. it looked like they were just run away with it but then yeah clay started to get going now you got win going once again so props to the ravens now 30 seconds away from sending it to a game five they're getting so close but can they close it out it's a flurry of kills in the point Afro and Ghosty walk away with the most recent two, and it'll be Thieves onto the point early, but now you're down nearly 100, but with such a close game. I'm sure we'll see a flow chart after this one, but it's another killing spree for Clay. Another five in a row. That's what, that's four of his last, like, six deaths or something. Like, it's been pretty spectacular out of Clay. Streak gets called in. Cammy's going to be a rip. Afro's still inside, but the trade will be there. So you're kind of preventing any kind of late gasp effort here from Thieves. And then they use that cruise to get on the hill. 
But that's going to be all four dead. All the rivals, everyone's starting to pull out an extra one, maybe all four for P4. And then over towards P5, you do have Cami once again kind of in a position, locking down Cafe. So you have this setup here from LA Thieves. Now, can they transition into a P5 setup to put the pressure on? Play's just going to find this uh, final five seconds. Why not? A scrap. Yeah, he's like, I'll take whatever at this point. I'm going to take the gunfights too, or at least try to. LA Thieves in P5, but 15 to go for Carolina. Trying to date in. He knows somebody's here, and uh, the two man attack there, and Gwen and Clay able to get the kill. Thieves inside for now, though, trying to mount the comeback. Daddy going to be popped for Gwen as he's trying to make the play into the hard point. He'll challenge it. One, two, going to get dropped. Gwen maybe made the play to close out the map now. He's in the hard point they go. Pushing it out is Clay trying to get the lanes out, but he can't quite win that one. So it'll be another one now up to Gwen. Or we fellow that'll actually be able to get the kill and they'll ice it there. To map five we go. Clayser once again dialing it back and having himself a map. And another lesson to learn for LA Thieves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're still learning. You're still, still learning. Still learning. 0-5 on Karachi Hardpoint on the year. And honestly, I think the, the moment that stands out is there's a couple of a break opportunities that Carolina held on, like that first P3. Uh, but really, that P2, where you had the break right off of spawn, right, as we got into that listening, and then just immediately, because while that's happening, Carolina also sets themselves up to combo the P3, where they have another big hold to really yeah i thought what we lead. heard the listening was really strong too though out of thieves like 5k that's all he was yesterday at respawns right mr 5k this guy's gonna be 40 years old putting 5k damage in a map i'd love to I, see that I I love, yeah no, no it's it's really impressive a 30 and 14 such an incredible map was that 25 untraded too yeah, 25. Yeah, well, it was just literally killing spree, killing spree, killing spree. You can see it was round, what? Uh, seven. Hill seven. Yeah, that it just started to implode, and they just absolutely took over. Yeah, I mean, you, you get that set up, you see 134, 134, and... It started 84 to 3. Yeah, no, I, it really did. The first couple of hills were great for LADs, but struggling in those hard points, and that struggle continues here in this match. At least what we heard in the listening, though, like, seemed like comms were solid, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I, I don't think comms are ever really going to be a problem with this this squad and having Ghosty on the team. Cammy shooting well. You just need a little bit more from the rest of the guys. All right. Well, we get ready to go to a map five now. We're all tied up at 2-2. Two, two. We're getting closer and closer to Boston. Well, Boston's event, Boston playing in the next series. Then we got Optic first phase. We got all sorts of action to come. I know it's been a long one. I know the schedule's a bit delayed. Sorry, a power outage at the Thieves facility. We're battling back into it. A map five to start this series. Then we continue on. We'll be right back.
The Call of Duty Week is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. We are back and ready now for a map five. And uh, listen, if you were Carolina yesterday, you, you win three, you win four, you get it to a map five, then you kind of get bodied, right? It's like a 6-1 or whatever it is. Um, you've won one search and destroy. Can you do it here, though? It's like, it's great you're getting the reps with the new squad mate, but like, you'd like to get a win. Yeah, I, I mean, that's just it, right? Search and destroy, you're going to be tough. I've been saying it time and time again, but with the, with the new roster, new players shifting in, uh, TJ's going to be there for the major, so at least you can carry these reps into the major. But uh, Karachi, Search and Destroy, LEDs, they've only played it one time and, and have lost it, so there's a chance. It's I a little suppose. different than their 0 and 5 or whatever on Karachi Hardpoint. It is? Yeah. But I mean, Clay throughout that game four really got going. Yeah. Carried yeah, that big momentum way. now. Can he carry it into game five? Yeah. No, he, uh, I think it was like right after I said, like, I think Clay needs to have a big play or something. Like, something is getting you are going, a profit. Going. And he just, like, right after that, I was like, is that five in a row? Five in a row? Five in a row? Five in a row? It was over and over and over again. As he has a monster map. Now, one more Karachi to settle it in uh, what is the longest series of all time? Yeah, you're just hanging out with Clay and I. <laughs> Give it, giving you updates on the power in Los Angeles. Countdowns You're a power expert. You're an electrician, go. right? You yeah. Did you FaceTime Taft to get it fixed? Yeah, yeah. I you know, never crossed the blue wire with the black wire, Joe. That makes sense. Yeah, just keep them apart. It's the first hit. Looks to be a fast one towards A. The isolation, man, will be felony. You have numbers here. Now you have more numbers here, but one working through on the flag. He may be finding the timing. Get his Afro. He's able to stop that bomb from getting planted. Snap back and oh, nearly man. shotgun Clay. But thankfully for him, rival wasn't up. Otherwise, that might get ugly, but looking like a good round here opening for Raymond. That's just tough for Afro on, on both timings. He's hoping to get the kill back alley. He's hoping to get the, you know, obviously the bomb planter. He's hoping for two uh, within that round, but got the stun in. Well, the Ravens, they get the first blood. Able to get that Here bomb down and... I'm a Carolina fan. Here we go. Up 1-0. Looking good. Maybe things go a little bit better for Afro timing-wise. It's around for the Thieves, but they do not. I mean, it went real good, and it just could have been, like, super, super it good. It could have been nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Afro, yeah, he gets the only kill in the round. Nobody else really able to find any kind of success, but the fast A hit works out for Ravens. Now, what do we see here out of LA? Uh, looks like a little more up the gut, but the lone man will be Cami. Maybe working it a little bit further towards the bottom side of B. Afro will get all the way up to the top. Yeah, no trophies down right for Carolina, so they have to dodge all of the grenades. They can't really get pushed up towards the bridge, so they're waiting for those nades to drop. Not going to change their positions up. Afro did it just jump through the window. Nice shots on the TJ. Gwen just lurking his way up. Afro was really shouldering the door, so he doesn't get info that he actually pushed on through. There's the challenge. He has the advantage right now with this rival, but uh, you know what changes that a little bit? A stun. I think he hits himself. He does. Too, uh, but he's able to take the fight through the headshots. Now Bomb uh, going to be going down here for Show to Seeps. Yeah, but look at that. There's the info. Stun is out, but the bomb does get planted. So bomb planted, and Cammy there for the trade. Maybe you're hoping that bomb doesn't go down. Yeah, yeah. fellow sends it like that, hoping he's gonna stop it, right? Oh, the timing for Ghosty falls all the way bottom, and then Gwyn's able to take him out. So one versus two for Cammy. He kind of gets into a good spot. I don't know if they're gonna check this. King Cammy. You have so much to clear top three. You have so much to clear all the way back bridge. They know he was market side, but are they gonna expect this spot? Answer to that, sure as hell not. Guess what? King Cammy's here. Hello, surprise! Gets one and takes down the second. Cammy tucked to the dark corner, gets the clutch, brings us the 1-1. I mean, there's just so many spots, right? Obviously, when that bomb goes down, that's the advantage of it for the attacking side is you have all back bridge, bottom bridge, top three, top green. There's all of these angles, and he kind of just gets pushed on market, drops in the spot. It's kind of like, well, 
I love that. Hopefully this works out. <laughs> Timing where you go, oh, are they going to check this? You see Gwyn's like, <laughs> he's defusing the bomb. He's inputting the code. No, no, I know, I know. But like, it just looks so it's good. Character model? It looks yeah. so good from Cammy's POV. Like, they don't know I'm here. Three in a row for Cammy as he makes the clutch. He's inputting the code. Is this the same code every year? The Da Vinci code. That's a good question, Joe. I don't know. The rival shots they hit for TJ. They're deep, but able to connect. Woo! And then he gets the second one snapping back. TJ Haley coming up big. I mean, Tammy's just hoping not to get stunned there, right? The trophies are down. Give him three. TJ going to try to find another race. The first blood on a Tammy was pivotal. It stems so much info. Not going to find the ace, but he gets three, and they get the round win. Yeah, he took over there. The first, I mean, what, the first one's a pretty, you know, pretty deep shots with the rival, but, you know. I mean, Tammy's if done. Someone, if someone's not on a heady and someone's in the open, you're going to get that kill, which he does, but lovely little snap onto the second. They're just ready for that second gunfight, but, yeah. It's always tough when the, when the nades explode midair so the trophies can't hit it, or maybe just the trophy's a little bit off. Just Tammy's like, if I get the bridge, I'm in such a good spot. As soon as you get to the top of those stairs, you hear the explosion, you're like, this Lit. is it. Lit. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Two one for Ravens. Look at it. Attack on a third if they can. TJ though hit down a 34 HP almost instantly. And Joe Deceive says, "All right, don't mind if I do." He'll push that out. That'll be bombed down though as Win gets the trade. A flurry of fights at P1. But Felony will keep numbers with Carolina. Clay still just trying to give out haircuts. Win will send it forward. Felony once again is there for the trade. Felony's been big in this round, just being the guy there for the trade two times in a row. Yeah, I mean, Josie was really the, the trade man, right? When they get aggressive up the B side, but Gammy with the snap on a Clay's head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11 yeah. HP, but still a 1v1 versus Fellow. Felony, welcome back to the CDL, bud. One versus one. I mean, it's a great read so far. Sure as hell is. Felony does his thing. They get the round win. Carolina up 3 1. I mean, I, I think he's just hoping, you know, Timmy takes this route, and he absolutely does. Wraps back around, maybe, just plays the off angle junk and says, I'm going to wait for you to plant a bomb if you do, but no, you, you don't. You run right into this. No, you said it perfectly. He's got the read. Yeah, he sure as hell does. He's 6 and 1. He's reading the map. And I think it was the map, too, where he was really struggling, right? Where I was like, yeah, it's going to be tough when you're coming into this. Well, he's, he's had a couple where he struggled. He's just a new guy to the squad. But uh, when it comes to being Mr. Map 5 right now, he's doing that. Six and one, three in a row. You get the win here. I mean, this is a great couple of days if you're a Carolina Royal Ravens fan because this team looks different. Yeah, very competitive these last couple of days. TJ, once again, getting aggressive. And Cammy's going to be in trouble. He's going to get picked once again by Fellow. Four in a row, seven in one. I think Afro middle of the map. Did he get caught? Oh, yeah, he's going to get spotted, called out, looking up, looking down. He has no idea where this player I is. I think he thought he got shot by a bird. Neither I... do I. Well, he thought this player was in this window, <laughs> this hop up right here. But he's actually all the way above him. His POV looked position. insane, bro. <laughs> guy's playing Jetpack Cod. <laughs> and okay. Just, wow. Clay, Clay has just had a couple of rough back to back yeah, deaths. Yeah. My guy's getting bodied. Not, not much he can do in some of these gunfights. Yeah, he's got him like a bullet. He's like, guys, I don't know. I got joked. TJ is trying to be acrobatic. Hit the jump shots on the ghost. If the ghost is able to get away, he's still looking for his first yeah, kill. He's finessed uh, to this spot. I mean, dodges the nade. He was 7 HP into the 2 1 2. And they're actually not going to go for the plant. They're going to go right down the middle alley, try to get over towards A. So this round on Ghosty for now. He's got eyes, but he can just see the fingertips for now. Just looking for an angle to stop it. He gets him off the plant, but he's going to get killed. Uh, I think he got back to it. Yeah, he, he did. He did. He did. He did. Just in the nick of time. Got back to it. Now it's a 1v2 for Afro. Now his position known. Because we have red dots in this game. If that was just a, but like, Ghost, he got those tags in like a half second later, he might be okay. But he backs him off and gets right back to the plant. Teammate there to look over him. 4-1 now for Carolina. Woo! I was a spicy one. I mean, obviously, Josie has no idea, right? He's just trying to get that kill, but quickly gets off the bomb, does win. Nice reaction, just waiting for his teammate to get the trade, and then hops right back on the bomb. Game of milliseconds. 
Yeah, no, it was uh, real, real close. I don't know why I was so confident. I just knew he got it, but <laughs> it was real, real close. I was like, ah, he's sticking that, believing him. 4-1 <laughs> now for Carolina. Bellamy still leading the way. Tactical lethal tossed out everywhere and Wynn trying to get tucked away in the spot. Once again from top, beautiful shot there from Afro. Ghosty can be through on the feet as well. TJ left by himself, able to get one. We'll see if the Iceman can clutch up. Nice little snap, but uh, needed a bullet or two more. Yeah, makes the read on the player. Top three, drop it on him. But a much needed round for LADs to stay alive in this game five. Just some nice openers. Amy playing with confidence throughout this game. It's really him and Afro. We need Ghosty and Joe to see to step up here. Yeah, Afro, I mean, we've been on his POV. He's shooting. <laughs> Wherever spot he's gotten to, it seems like he's a rival. He's winning his fights. He's six and five. But yeah, Ghosty and Deceives. Yeah, I see two and 11 right now. That's going to be tough to get a dub with, that's for sure. We'll see if they can turn it around or Camry and Afro put on a clinic. But offense back to Royal Ravens. Let's see what they got up their sleeves. They go for this mid hit. They're going to get up the alleyway, but doors are open P4, and Afro's going to find the first, almost the second on a DJ. But it's a bit of a. Oh, oh no, he's so weak and the no stun's gonna way. take him down. It was like a crossfire was set up. The player's middle alley there and yeah, there we go. I was just about to say that smoke was so clutch. Like it's a difference in Afro getting both kills and then the stun just hits. That's just a tough death. No way around it. Now you gotta try and clutch up in this two versus three, but another chance, make it a one versus three. Another chance now for Thieves. Fellow's like, okay, oh, there's somebody at the top of that ladder. <laughs> Tries to back out of it. Not going to happen. Back-to-back -back rounds for Thieves. Now within a round. Yeah, and the last couple of rounds just really did the right reads on the map, right? Afro with the, the opening first bloods. One from bottom P4 and one from top P4, but they knew, hey, middle alley's open. Let's open these doors. And Afro's like, hey, there's two players right here. Oh. Thought the smoke was going to bail him out. Nearly did. Yeah, and almost like maybe if someone overpeaks that because you had that crossfire set up. But I thought you were going to help him out. Yeah, I thought you were going to come away with a two for one for Carolina all of a sudden. I was like, hell of a play, but yeah, just so, so weak. Thieves right out mid map, right up the gut. Almost the same exact play we just saw from the Ravens, but you have nobody bottom P4, so smoke goes down. Cafe control over to LA Thieves. Now they're just going to have to work this bomb plan. Yeah, I mean, A is all theirs. We'll keep an eye on number five. That, you don't to expect see. that. That is just such... He's so forward so quickly into the round. Ghosty's got a chance to get in behind enemy lines. Not sure it's going to matter, actually. His teammates are getting all of the kills. This looks like we're at a 4-4 score line here in a second. Joe Deceives gets the plant, gets out. Ghosty finally does get involved, and he's able to get the kill. Woo! The wall heady, it's Afro again. Is that the rival again in his hand, just hitting shots? But still, I mean, nice, I mean, adjustments on LA Thieves. Oh, yeah, I mean, they were down 4-1, it was coming off. You're down 4-1, and you're just, I don't know, just Ooh. the way this Ooh. season has gone, as you said, Afro with the shots with the rival. But it feels like just something happened. Whoever's making the play calls, they're listening, they're flowing throughout these last three rounds. Well, you got to lock it in right now for your Carolina because, uh, you know, you, you let the game five get away from yesterday against FaZe. You're in control this time. Fellows popping off. He was, what, 7-1 or 7-2 at one point. Things are starting. The wheels are starting to come off, though. We are tied up 4-4 now. So, like, the adjustments have come in for Thieves. You need those of your Rail Ravens, but you're a brand-new team. A little bit more difficult probably to make those adjustments. Yeah, which strategy do we have? Our one strategy over here or our one strategy <laughs> over there? Over there didn't work. Let's try over there. Yeah, or back to the middle strat. <laughs> As you're going to get TJ pushed up, and uh, honestly, a lot of the times, it's kind of relied on TJ to be finding an opening through the middle of the map. His fellow's going to spot Josie. Josie's just going to try to dodge some nades, but he is all alone. He's all alone, and again, just finessing his life. Yeah, I mean, he's been that guy. Constantly on. It's another first blood for Afro. How many is that? Four or five now for Afro? Absolutely. And then look at this response. One kill on one side. Then we just go. We are hitting things. The last four rounds for DZ have been so confident. I don't know what has changed. But playing with much better intensity still. A two on three. His fellow is going to find Cammy a chance here with the bomb planted. It is all down to Gwyn, the rookie. Afro has taken over. He's at 11 in this one. Four in a row. Gwyn, good luck. Continues to back down, but running out of real estate. Is that four in a row now? 
for LA Thieves and a round away from winning this map five. And you thank that man if you get it done. You thank Afro. We're not done yet, but. And we'll see the stats at the end of it, but I feel like he has been the first domino over and over and over again for this Thieves team. Yeah, just getting the first bloods and then quickly reacting. Uh, and that's tough to do when you are down 4-1. It, it's not often that we see that, but they've made the adjustments. The comms have been on point. We'll see now if they can close the game out or are we going to a round 11? Let's see if Afro get another first blood. They have been so decisive. They see one more round, or yeah, or like you said, it'll be going to a round 11. Afro's getting top. Shotgun. Okay, give him another one. So many first bloods. Mr. Takeover in the map five, and he's just barely still alive. Able to stay up. Gets eyes on Clay as well. And just knows where the angles are, but you're hoping maybe he doesn't get picked with bomb being planted. You just want him to waste time in that spot, but still a three on three. It's tough because you're kind of like, I let this man do what he wants right now, <laughs> the way he's playing, but he did get the first blood. Now you put into a 3v3, but you got the bomb planted. Now the pressure on to Royal Ravens to try and work this defuse. Joe deceives. Shots on point. Nade blowing up everything. Cammy hitting one guy up. It's Clay last alive, and he is gone in Afro. And LA Thieves take over, being down one to four in this map five to win it six four. That's five straight rounds. It was a different Thieves team than once they got going. Yeah, I mean, props to them. I, I've been in that spot. It's not easy to do. Rally the comms, get everybody on point, but Afro got going. A ton of first bloods, but they were just quick and decisive with some of their strat strats throughout those rounds. They had the right reads. He had 12 kills, and I, I'm guessing six, five, six first bloods. Five. five. Yeah. I, You're a genius. He was just hitting, man. 2,200 damage, 12 and seven. And just when 12 of those are five first bloods, and he was putting damage into, I mean, he got a second a couple times to follow that up. Like, he was a one-man wrecking throw. He